Hi Zoe, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us um, and you know agreeing to take part in this. It's really good. Oh, you're good. welcome. It sounds like a really interesting concept, so happy thank to you. do it. Thank you. So um, could you share a little of what you do with us, please? Yes. Um, well, I'm working for a charity called Rhythms of Life International, mm -hmm. um, which is a homeless charity based in London. Um, and it's a very small charity. So basically we use your services as like one of our little launch pads to, <laughs> to um, get our message across and the work that we do. Also, we write articles using your website. So mm -hmm. it's just a way to access more people, really. And the people that go on that website are obviously interested in, you know, those like charitable organizations and social enterprises and things. So those are the people, you know, we'd like to contact, really. Yeah. And um, how many of you are involved in what you do? Um, well, it's a really small charity mm -hmm. and we actually have no salaried staff. Mm -hmm. um, so we've obviously got the trustees and we've got the chief exec. Mm -hmm. um, and then apart from that, we've got me who works with the chief exec as like the management mm -hmm. side of things. And also we've got about 15 volunteers, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, because we um, operate in like three different areas, mm -hmm. so we need volunteers for all three different areas in London. So yeah, about 15, I would say. Excellent. And what made you want to start um, Rhythms of Life? Founder, mm -hmm. he, um, he actually used to be homeless himself. Right. Um, and so, obviously during that time when he was homeless on the streets he was able to see the lack of services so like certain services mm -hmm. that there were um and so you know once he'd managed to work his way off of the streets he wanted to you know strive to provide those services for others that were well, that are in this position that he used to be in and mm -hmm. um, just to help others um so i guess it's from his personal experience that he's able to you know think up all these ideas and it's little things like specific times that we serve food right. like maybe other charities wouldn't think about that but because he's been in that situation yeah. he kind of knows the times that are best suited mm -hmm. if you have to like walk to a place or something just little things like that which i think makes a difference really oh, that's very inspiring mm -hmm. how did he manage to um make that transition from being homeless to you know uh, where he is now um i i don't know like the full story from once he got off the streets but i have like we've spoken about how he even managed to earn some money to get off the streets and basically it he, from what i gathered it's from selling like the big issue and things mm -hmm. i mean maybe some people wouldn't think of it as like a business plan yeah. but that's what he did you know that's what you have to do to kind of better your situation so he would sell um, the big issue and then gradually like increase how much he sells and things but also buying um small items from um like local distributors for a reduced price and then he was able to sell those on mm -hmm. and then that's just gradually you know his savings are increasing and gradually is able to get out of that situation. But it did take a lot of hard work from what I gather. Like it wasn't that easy. Yeah. Um, and so also from that, you know, the struggles that he encountered mm -hmm. trying to get out of that situation and receiving not that much help, he wanted to offer others mm -hmm. the help that he didn't get really. Yeah. Like setting up a bank account, he found extremely difficult. You know, no bank really wants wants you to have a bank account with them when you're on the streets um, or you know it, it's difficult to understand all the different the texts that you receive about different bank accounts and things and he didn't receive any of that help and so hopefully um, with this new centre that we're opening in Hammersmith we would like to offer homeless people or people on low income or anything um, information on just like life skills or so stuff like opening a bank account and a lot of um, our guests that come to us say you know they they'd like to know about flat management and things because it's just stuff that they just don't know and there's not really any information to help them out there right so do you also help um the homeless people in terms of helping them get a job or maybe motivating them to get a job and opening up channels for them 
Um, yeah, that's what we're trying to do now. Mm-hmm. Um, there are many different like, aspects of that, obviously. Mm-hmm. So there's like the very, very basic, say, if we get to know the people that come to us, because um, it's small charities, it's quite nice. Yeah. Um, and I would say, you know, if they've got any problems, we can refer them to people. Um, refer them to advice, help centres, anything. So at a very basic level, that helps them. But then also, um, we've got a new centre in Hammersmith. Mm -hmm. um, And from there, we are going to run workshops. That's what we're setting up currently. Now, the council runs free CV courses. Um, You know, how to write a CV, cover letter and everything. Mm -hmm. But for a lot of these people, um, well, there's a few, like a lot of people whose English is not good enough Mm -hmm. um or even who their basic literacy skills spelling and everything is just not good enough to even go to those courses Mm -hmm. or they may be too embarrassed to even approach these courses Mm -hmm. so we're going to offer um basic literacy Mm -hmm. classes um things because as soon as they can do that we can then refer them on to the council yeah to do to complete cv courses because you give them more confidence don't you definitely Yeah. yeah because the, some of these um, council-run courses can be quite formal, yeah. and that, like, if you're not very confident in writing, that can be quite daunting. Yeah. So we're just trying to create an informal atmosphere, but encouragement as well. So yeah. Excellent. And the, sorry. Um, and how has the response rate been for this? Um, well, we've let's say we've been mainly setting up these past two weeks. Um, and we've spoken to the local council who run the CV courses and they say there's definitely a need for what we're doing because they know for a fact there's a group of people out there who don't approach them because they're too embarrassed. So we know there's definitely a need. And then we've also spoken to other local charities and they say they're, they're more than happy to refer us, like people over to us. Yeah. Um, to come and learn these things because obviously it will benefit them as a charity as well yeah. um, and us and we've also obviously got people who we give food to and advice um, who would be really in like really interested in taking these courses um, because from they talk to Faris because he actually goes out there and serves food like with everyone else quite hands on so they know him and some of them even know him from when he was on the street so they've seen how he's like moved on with his life and everything um and so he can kind of talk to them and say you know convince them that you know they really should do this it would be good for them and yeah we've got a lot of people who are really interested in taking part which is great (laughs) yeah that's very inspiring um so what have you got in the pipeline for us for the next four weeks well we've got this center in hammersmith Mm -hmm. obviously so that's just starting up so that's actually taking a lot of organization so we've got the setting up of the workshops basic process does it go into it so recruiting people and things we also are moving like kind of expanding i guess in our hammers um center into a nice swish new office um and so we're talking to companies who like to set themselves challenges they say um, <laughs> of like setting up all the computers in that office and stuff mm-hmm. so getting people involved um and yeah i guess like over the next four weeks the main things we'll try to do are um pu- pushing on the recruitment front because mm-hmm. um concerning the hammersmith center mm-hmm. we had a meeting with andy slaughter who's the local labor mp there um and so Following on from that meeting, we're going to be contacting the local newspapers, local radio stations to try and gain publicity, I guess. So we'll be able to update you on how that's going. Yeah. That's great. It looks like we've got lots in store. And, There's um, lots to do, yes. Yeah, I'm very excited to, to yeah. find out what happens. Um, thank you very much for taking part with us. and I, I look forward to talking to you next week. Yes, thank you.